And finally, Matt, the big one, the Breeders' Cup Classic, the race we're waiting for more than any other this year. It probably will decide horse of the year. It will give Gunrunner one last chance to beat Arrogate. Seven months ago or more, there was no doubt who the best horse in America was. It was Arrogate. We saw him run right by Gunrunner to win the Dubai World Cup. Things have changed a little bit. Has that changed who you like in the Breeders' Cup Classic on Saturday? I'm gonna stick with uh, I'm gonna stick with Gunrunner, even though there's been so much talk this past week about how good Arrogate looks, and I feel like the Arrogate uh, hype machine is is getting back to a feverish pitch. But you know, Gunrunner has just been doing everything right uh, since the Dubai World Cup. Everything that Steve Asmussen and the Winchells have planned out for Gunrunner has gone as if, you know, every detail has been perfectly scripted. I, I Nothing has gone wrong with Gunrunner. I think he's just going to continue with that. The extra distance isn't going to be a factor. I'm going with Gunrunner to win it. My second choice in the race is West Coast. Uh, because there's part of me that believes that Baffert's best horse in this race is West Coast, and I'm going to put Arrogate in third, and that might be a nice exacta. Yeah, that should be decent. You might have the favorite on top of the third choice, but uh, it won't be a low exacta by any means. Matt, I'm with you. Gunrunner, Gunrunner, listen, Gunrunner's been getting better all his career. He's always been near the top. I, I just think now he's he's moved to the top. These are athletes, and 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 you see athletes in every uh, sport uh, just improve and come up to things perfectly. And as Matt so eloquently stated, Gunrunner's done that. He's just getting better and better. Everything's gone right for him. I don't think the mile and quarter matters at all for him at, at this point in his career. He's a really, really good, mature four-year-old. He wouldn't have been touched, obviously, in any of those recent races if they were a mile and a quarter or more. I'm convinced of that. There is the, uh, the, there is the thought that maybe Baffert uh, gangs up on Gunrunner a little bit early, sends Collect Adam or Collected Adam or maybe even West Coast Adam early. We'll see. But I think Gunrunner's gotten to the point now where he's moving in the right direction ever since the second in the Dubai World Cup, and he is America's best horse. I think Gunrunner wins this Breeders' Cup Classic. I still respect Arrogate the, mo the most of the Baffert horses, and I think Baffert would say the same thing, especially at a mile and a quarter. So Arrogate is my number two and the most uh, dangerous horse to Gunrunner supremacy here as on his march to the Horse of the Year title. So Gunrunner one, Arrogate two, the big two, one, two. I do fear West Coast, probably most of the Baffert, uh, the other three Baffert horses, so I respect your pick uh, of him second. He is a danger in here. I think Gunavera could rally in. But I just think Pavel is, is the horse that's uh, moving forward the quickest. I like the fact that he trained over Del Mar this summer very well. That's why they decided to make this crazy trek that he did to the East Coast with the Jim Dandy, the Smarty Jones, and the Jockey Club Gold Cup in his second, third, and fourth career races. Pavel is a serious talent. This might be a little bit too much too soon, but I think we're going to see a very good performance out of Pavel. So he's my third pick and my top long shot in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Folks, there you have it. There are some of our favorite bets, our top three in each pick. Matt, what do you think? This, this uh, Breeders' Cup promises to be another interesting one. It certainly does, and I'm looking forward to going to Del Mar for the first time uh, this year. So if any of you Horse Center fans are there and you know the ins and outs of Del Mar uh, and you see me around, please say hello and show me your favorite spots at the San Diego racetrack. You're going to enjoy it, Del Mar, Matt. It's, it's truly one of my favorite tracks uh, in the country.